Hey guys, how's it going? And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up the photos and videos that are on your iPhone using a feature called iCloud Photo Library. In my first video, I showed you how to use another backup feature that was on iCloud. It is called iCloud Backup. Um, if you would like more information on that, I suggest you take a look into that video so that way you... So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I've gone ahead and unlocked my iPhone. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want you to click on the settings icon on your iPhone. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and click on the option that says iCloud. It's right under the privacy section. Okay, so from there, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the, the little area that says photos. When we open this area, we're going to see three options. One of them will say iCloud photo library, my photo stream, and iCloud photo sharing. In this video, we're just going to go over iCloud Photo Library. So the first thing that I need you to do is click on the white button next to iCloud Photo Library. And when you click on it, it's going to go from white to green. Now that the photo has gone from white to green, that just means that all the... Um, the photos and videos that are on iCloud are, excuse me, all the, fo the photos and videos that are on your iPhone are now going to back up to iCloud. Now, this feature is different from the other backup uh, that iCloud has available, and what makes it different is that it just saves the photos and videos in another area on iCloud. There is no name for that particular area, it's just another area on the iCloud server. And so now, basically, what you need to do is select um, either optimize iPhone storage or download and keep originals. So if let's say you decided to select optimize iPhone storage, what's basically going to happen is if let's say if the storage on your iPhone is uh, low, it just sends all of the the higher resolution, the meaning like the higher quality photos into iCloud. If let's say if I switch to the other option and hit download and keep originals, basically what's going to happen is um, all of the high quality photos and videos that you're taking on your iPhone will go straight to the iCloud's hard drive and it's going to stay on your phone as well. Alrighty, so now that we have done that, um, the, really the only other thing that you just need to do is just have some fun and take some photos and videos and then now all of the photos and videos that you take with your phone will now show up on iCloud. So what I'm going to do is at this now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screenshot by holding down my home button and the power button at the same time. As you can see my screen just flashed and it's going to send that screenshot into the photos folder on my iPhone. The reason why I am doing that is because I'm going to make a part 3 video that shows you uh that shows you basically uh, if all of your photos and videos are backed up because with iCloud Photo Library you can use a website called iCloud.com in order to see if all of your photos and videos are backed up. If you are using the other backup feature, um, meaning like the other backup option that I went over in my first video, that one only shows you what time it is done. And that's one of the things that I don't like about it, but it's still helpful to have more than one option just in case if one is not working. So that way you can back up everything that is important. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'm going to start it up again. And I'm going to show, and on the third video, you will see where you can back up all of your, excuse me, not back up, where you can see all of the backed up photos and videos that you took from the camera of your iPhone. If you have found this video to be helpful and useful, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.